Hey, it's Raktar, and you may notice that I'm back at the terrace. I have left the fountain behind because there is a prankster comet. So prankster comets, there's several different kinds. There's purple coin prankster comets, there's uh, speedster comets, daredevil comets. The first comet, I call it a speedster comet, I don't know why. The first comet in the game, I think they purposely try and make it a sort of easy one because I've always felt that the speed runs are a little bit better than the later runs, but anyways, yeah. So, speed, speed runs basically, they give you the same star that you've already done, but you have to do it in a stupid crazy amount of time, which means you don't get to waste time doing dumb shit like collecting star bits. Star bits are for people that aren't a man on a mission, and I currently just happen to be a man on a mission. In fact, we're not even gonna, oh shit, damn it, the game made me do it. I was gonna try and do a double jump and avoid talking to that guy, but as I hit A, I should've just guessed that hitting A, of course, would cause that thing to, um, it'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna talk to you. You talk, you press A around a dude. I hate to tell you, that's how this game works. If you do that, the dude's gonna, oh shit. Okay. Actually, uh, the thing about Prankster Speedy, Speedy, I, I wanna call him Speedster Comic, it's because I wanna combine Prankster and Speedy. But the thing about Speedy Comets is whenever you have to do like a collection thing, that's probably what trips me up the most during uh, like Prankster Comets, is because you have to go find the things, which is time consuming. Oh shit. All right. Which is time consuming in and of itself. I'm gonna get hit by this. No, I'm not. I believe in myself. I believe in my power to not. Oh wow. I surprised myself there, but I'm gonna get hit anyway. Already at the, dude, I'm already at the two minute mark. This is bad. All right, we gotta go. We gotta get a move on. Speedy Comets are no joke, so I need to stop kidding around. And holy shit, this star is actually probably longer than I remember too, which means I do need to get super serial. Although a lot of these, you know what's really interesting I've noticed about uh, Speedy Comets in my whole entire lifetime? Is the thing about them, uh, did I, am I going towards the right thing? The thing about, oh, I shouldn't be going here. This is exactly what I was talking about not doing. Oh crap, I shouldn't be doing this right now. So the thing about Speedy Comets is that, um, you don't really have time to do anything but, like, the main path as it was intended, but you don't realize just how short levels are in this game until you actually, like, start doing Speedy Comets, and then you're like, wow, this level was actually really short, but I spent a bunch of time doing, like, this level was super short, but I was always so fixated on doing the Speedy Comet that it never occurred to me just how short this level is. I don't remember, so call me crazy here. For some reason, I don't remember that part being in the original, like the thing with the buttons? Was that in the original Dino Egg Star? Maybe I'm accidentally doing another star. I might accidentally be going for a secret star, but I'm not sure, oh no, no, here it is, okay. I guess I'm not. For some reason, I thought there I was like, you're gonna- I'm gonna have to go check that out. I'm gonna have to go watch my own video, something I hate doing. No, yeah, I'm gonna have to go watch my video, because I'm pretty sure that that part with the buttons... Maybe it's a shortcut, or maybe it's a long cut. Maybe I... Maybe I long cutted myself. This actually might be a great place for me to finally demonstrate something that I've talked about previously. So against certain bosses, a well-placed, uh, a, a well-placed star bit will cause them to slow down. And this is a fantastic boss to slow down, but it's also, it's pretty easy to beat him without slowing him down, so. I guess I shouldn't be too concerned. As you can see, game over, bud. One minute, 19 seconds. I'm basically a total badass in the world of Speedy Comets, but as I, I may have not talked about this before, some of these comets, ooh no, I could still fail in the one minute and 17 seconds remaining. Not really, but some of these comets get really hard. I think that what blew my mind break, I think that's actually one thing that I really like about this game, now that I'm thinking about it, is that um, a lot of Mario games, they don't feel challenging enough to me, maybe, later on in life. And I'm like, this game wasn't maybe as challenging as I was hoping it would be. But then later on, you, like, they introduced these comets, and it's suddenly, this game is actually a decently challenging game, which makes it really fun, because I sort of like the concept where you can beat the game, 
and you can kind of like choose your difficulty level. You can just do like the the minimum, I think it's 70 stars or something. Beat the game, 70 stars. Or if you're feeling like having like sort of a, an extra challenge and good time, nope, no extra life or anything. If you feel like having that sweet, sweet extra challenge and extra good time, and you're that kind of person, you enjoy doing these sorts of things, it's neat because you can sort of add that extra challenge. You can choose to beat a like more challenging version of the game. And I always thought stuff like that's really cool. It makes the game kind of have like some more dynamic level level design than just kind of like this is the challenge of the game. It's always going to be equally challenging no matter what you do to instead just be like, uh-uh, bitch. What's going to happen? Oh, it's another crazy airship level. Was Camilla? Oh, no, no. Camilla was not the person. Oh, by the way, this is one of those areas I'm going to point out something that I love. As... Oh, by the way, here we go. We're going to do this, see if I can get a full rotation. Oh, no, I actually got pulled into the... I got pulled into the gravity of the other ship. I like that levels, like, totally change sometimes based on things such as, in this case... The level has totally changed because Camilla's airship is attacking. And so, by the, by the way, I... This is a very rare occurrence, I believe. Well, I don't know how rare it is, but... I'm pretty sure this Goomba glitched in between those boxes and is stuck now. Which, in my personal opinion, that is both amazing and hilarious. Is there... I bet there's an extra life out on there if I'm willing to try to... Oh, no, maybe I can't even get on that. Whatever, we're wasting time right now. Screw it. There's an extra life right there. If I truly... He unglitched himself! Dick! How did you... How dare you unglitch yourself? Oh, no, they're teaching you how to... If you need to get a little bit of extra spin in your jam, they want to show you because this is probably going to be one of the situations where, like... Oh, and you can also... Oh, shit. I didn't want to talk to you. I mean, no offense, sir, but... Oh, what the... Um, they make it seem like, oh, I guess you just have to collect each coin individually. For some reason, I thought that he was insinuating that if I did that, it would, like, automatically collect all the coins. But I suppose that wasn't at all what the enemy was insinuating. Oh, there we go. All the star bits in the world. I'm a freaking star bit master. Look at these poor toads have been captured by these evil gambos. Goomba, Goomba bitches capturing. Actually, you know, if I were to say who I believe captured these toads, I'm gonna be 100% honest. I'm gonna say it probably was not Goombas, because Goombas, let's be 100% honest here, kind of have a shitty place in the world, because Goombas don't even have hands. So, I mean, if I was to choose, if I were to make a decision who I believe captured those Goombas, it'd probably, oh, sh you fucking Kamek, or Camilla, I guess that is, but, I think Camilla is actually, like, one of the named Koopa Kids, and so, like, Kamek, well, I mean, that's not fair for me to say that Kamek isn't named. Kamek is totally named. His name is Kamek, but Kamek is the, the wizardy one, although those are just called... I, seriously, I give this speech during every Mario series. It's not technically Kamek. I always give this stupid speech because... I always feel that it's pertinent. It's not Kamek. It's Magic Koopa. Because Kamek is, a, like I said, Kamek is actually a named Koopa Kid. But Magic Koopa, when you just see Kamek style Koopas hanging out in the world, they're called Magic Koopas. And, you know, that's how they delineate a Kamek from a Magic Koopa. So you're not just like, every Kamek is a Magic Koopa. So, like, because, I mean, Kamek would be offended. It's like racism, you know? To sit there and be like, Oh yeah, all all Magikoopas are named Kamek. That's super racist, you know? You can't do that. It makes you seem racist, so... Oh, hey, one of these. Cool, these are neat. They give you double the... Yeah, they give you double the health. So if you want to be a Toad's badass... Ooh, we're going to have to do the second hit using our own aiming skills, which is actually pretty easy because you just... Hold forward on the control stick. By the way, I think that if for some reason you want to do this, this is one of those dumb things where... Yeah, if for some stupid reason you're like, I don't want to use that launch star, I'm, I'm a total badass. Only losers need launch stars, so you can foolishly choose to skip it, but I feel like... Oh, and here we go. 
Here is Camilla, the female, because I always remember that there's like a female, oh, I shouldn't get those unless I lose health. There's a female Casty Koopa named Camilla, and I always forget Camilla's name. And then there's the male Casty Koopa, who is, as we know, because I always call every Kamek by that name, or every Magic Koopa. That is, of course, Kamek. All right, shoot some of your sweet, sweet Koopas so I can, oh. Dude, her spells get more complex as the battle goes on. Not complex enough to kick my ass. The only person kicking asses around here is is yours. And I'm not taking names because I would like. Oh, dude, look at that. Come oh, what? It hit me right as I was hitting him. That was like a fucking death. Like basically, it was sort of a kamikaze style attack because right as I murdered him. He murdered me, and I'd appreciate that. So I'm going to murder she who summoned you, who apparently was harnessing the power of a power star, aka Camilla, who is now dead. I'm so very sorry, Camilla. Maybe in another life, had I been born a Koopa, we could be friends, but sadly, I am Mario, you are Camilla, which means you were destined to be killed by me over and over. Dude, the Koopa kids kind of lead, you know, sad lives. They always just get, like, one little jaunt in every game, and whenever that jaunt happens, they get killed. Oh, what are you? Enemy base. Okay. It's just, I unlocked the... I unlocked the, whatever the Bowser level is here, or I revealed it. I don't know if I have enough stars to get to... Oh, I totally do. I just do... Wait, how do I have enough stars to do that and not enough star? Whatever. I guess that's on a farther orbit from this... Gal whatever. Battle Rock Galaxy. Oh, wait. Wasn't there one more star to do at space? Oh, yeah. I was like... I was about to jump headlong into Battle Rock, but I was like, dude, Space Junk is calling. We need to rock and roll this galaxy. Terran Tox's Tangled Web. Another really cool mechanic, if I, it is what I think it is. Oh, yeah. Like I said, once again, I've, I've always been torn about this game, as I said before. Where, like, I don't like that you're just doing levels over and over again, but it is always cool because even though you're doing levels over and over again, they, like, completely change. And the Terran Tox invasion, I can assure you, totally changes this level in a big way because it adds a super sweet mechanic. Look at how quickly, dude. Look at how quickly, if you're a bouse, you can just rock through this shit to get to Terran Tox's Planet of Doom. And, okay. Oh, hey. I don't have enough... This thing will certainly... How many do you need? 50. Ah. I didn't even attempt to collect enough star bits. Well, we'll have to come back for that, dude. So, when things are making the offer, when you're being petitioned for star bits like that, it usually means that had you brought 50 star bits, you would sort of be in a situation where you can give that dude your star bits and it'll unlock, like, a secret star, but... I never felt that when the secret stars were just being offered by... When the secret stars are just being offered by some random dude, it's not like... I don't know. It's not so much a secret, because he's just standing right there, like, ready for you to bring the goods. So, it's it doesn't seem very secrety. Or, it, this could be one of those situations where maybe that's the actual required route, and the only reason that they make so you can go inside the web is so you can collect enough star bits to get to that dude's thing, but I don't think that's the case. I think that I'm finding a pull star in here, yep, or a launch star. Not a pull star, there's so many stars. You gotta remember the names like a proper human being, otherwise you're a failure. Oh dude, but, oh now, see now we're at kind of an impasse here. I'm super close to having, all right, let's go see if I can't find five star bits. Maybe I was a bit hasty in coming to this planet, but check it out. There's still just a few more star bits left hanging out on that little L-shaped rock, so... Oh, crap. Last time it took me the other way. Why did this time just decide that it was gonna take me... Whatever, who cares? We got 50 star bits. So I guess when I redo this area, I'll have to cut back here. Here we go. Feed this hungry Luma. So yeah, this'll make it either so I just get an extra random thing, but I believe that what actually happens is in almost 100% of the cases where you unlock areas like this, you totally get the opportunity, yep, to get another star? I don't know. 
Those, I don't remember, I remember that Yoshi head, but, ooh, I hope, I hope we get a invincibility star here, or maybe we just have to kill, oh, crap. Okay, let's do this away from that flaming thing. By the way, these Goombas, as you can see, I think they do this on purpose. These Goombas do not drop coins, and that is because they don't want you, they don't want you cheating and killing the, or, and, and getting extra health. They want you to do this on one lone bar of three health chunks. Although, I am a little bit saddened that they don't have a, um, a star, an invincibility star here. I bet this is gonna be one of those situations where I'm gonna, like, manually go through and kill every Goomba, and then right when I'm done, it'll be like, oh, hey, fool, there was an invincibility star here all along, and you're just made of stupidity, but... I know, you know what? Now that I've seen both sides of Yoshi's head, Yoshi's wooden head, I am fully in belief that there is no... Okay, there's, like, one more... God damn it! You were hiding instead of dying, and I don't appreciate that. If that doesn't yield a star, then I don't know what will. And, sh most assuredly, a star it hath yielded for my goodness of life. Well, I'm not sure how much time the Tarantox star is going to take, so I believe that this might be a decent place for me to end this episode right here. And in the next episode, I will be taking on Tarantox's Tangled Web for realsies this time and possibly addressing any comets that might come in my way, all that jazz, maybe even taking on Bowser himself. This has been Raktar, thank you for watching. I meant Bowser Jr., by the way. <laughs>